Hello, my name is Mike Kozak, and I am an assistant clinical professor at Drexel University's School of Education. This video will present five easy strategies for online teaching that you can hopefully quickly employ into your, uh, into your classroom. Right now, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you the uh, five strategies. So the first strategy is to maintain the teacher to student interaction. And there's several ways to do that. The best way is through discussion boards and similar interactive forums. You want to have a teacher to student presence and also a student to student presence. Teachers should be active in the discussion board throughout the week. As your students post assignments, you should be adding comments and feedback and let them know that you're there and that you're reading what they're putting into the discussion board. Use prompts in your discussion board that are related to the content that spur critical thinking and promote collaborative discussions. Second strategy, frequent feedback. Written feedback on papers, projects, videos, uh, should be timely, frequent, individualized, and also you can provide group feedback to the entire class after reading perhaps their papers, an assignment, perhaps a discussion board thread, something that the whole class could then benefit from. You can also provide audio feedback. You can re record a voice thread or an auto audio file offering feedback. And this provides a little bit of a personal touch that students will definitely appreciate. Think of Carol, uh, Dr. Carol Dweck and using the growth mindset strategies. This is something to encourage students to uh, continue to work hard. This is a new environment for them as well. And they may not be comfortable with an online format. Also provide individual feedback to students who you know are struggling. They may need your extra help. They may be a little uncomfortable in this new environment. And video feedback. Students always enjoy seeing their teacher, even through high school. And you can create a short video of yourself providing feedback to the class or just to individual students. Within your content, use video and audio sources. So you can create your own three to five minute video as a mini lesson. You can narrate a PowerPoint or slides by recording your voice. You can insert links to specific TED Talks for students, YouTube, Khan Academy, or PBS Learning Media. As you go back to watch this, there are certain terms that are underlined that they have links to those particular sites. Another area is ViewSonic Library, which provides links to commercial free and copyright cleared videos on various to topics and academic content areas. Check your textbook publishers for video content, content that they may offer. Also, there are audiobooks, um, many of which students will be able to access through their, uh, the library, the public library. Communication. This is very important. Remember to check your school district policies and procedures before communicating with students online. Take guidance from your principals and other administrators, as well as the district legal team. Short 30, 20 to 30 minute morning announcements are always good so that students know that you're there and that you are going to, uh, this is going to be just like their education that had been occurring when they were actually attending school in the school building. You might want to establish online etiquette and review this etiquette with your students. Things such as before the students enter the uh, video room to mute all the students. And then you can control as the teacher, you can control who you want to unmute when they want to speak. Show students how, that they can, how they can use the raised hand function within the online format. Schedule office hours for students who need academic help, who need, maybe need to come and uh, you could explain 
certain academic content to them or uh, just talk to them and ask them how they're doing. Remember to communicate with parents to provide frequent updates of what you're doing. And set protocols regarding how, when, and how often communication will occur. For example, are your hours going, going to be between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m.? You might want to do that, and although you may be tempted to answer emails at different times, you may want to adhere to that so that the students understand that you too have a private life and you have to deal with your own family uh, and other uh, situations as need be. Structures and routines are very important, especially for younger students. So you might want to establish structured schedules for students to provide a reassuring climate. Try to maintain routines that were part of your normal classroom activities. Continue to honor birthdays, holidays, and other important dates with special activities. Be creative and innovative in your presentation. Most important of all, keep a sense of humor. Remember, Teachers make the world a better place. Thank you.